Hello everybody, welcome back to Brazil. It's October. It is first thing in the morning, just woke up, and our first day of complete and total ownership of our property. And it feels real good. But you know, along with ownership comes responsibility and we have a lot of things to do today. If you look carefully, you can see that our oat field there is ripe. And I went down to look at the oat field and I noticed that the corn field is also ready to go. So we have two fields to harvest today. One corn, one oats. The oats are going into the uh, flour mill. Also, um, we'll see how much oats we get, but our flour mill also makes flour out of corn. So we may put half of the corn in the flour mill and half of the corn over here in our facility and turn that into seeds. So uh, we have a lot of options with our harvest, but uh, we need to get it we need to get it harvested. So the first thing I'm gonna do is um, I am going to grab the harvester and I think the first thing we're gonna harvest, we're gonna go ahead and harvest the oats because I think that's gonna be the fastest thing and we already have everything we need to, to make that happen. So we're gonna go ahead and harvest the oats and get the oats in the flour mill. Turn that into flour. That's our first step in making donuts. I took a look and we have, well, I think, I wanna say I looked this morning, but it may have been yesterday. So let's look together. Uh, if we go up here, yeah, that doesn't show us our eggs because our eggs are currently in storage. So we have to go all the way down to the bottom of this menu because Giants hasn't put tabs in yet. I hope you're listening. Tabs, please. Uh, we have, oof, we're getting close to 13,000 liters of eggs. So we have the eggs, we have the flour, or we will have the flour very soon. Uh, the only thing we're waiting for is sugar and that'll be coming right along because I'll drive past our uh, sugar beet field up here. And they have germinated so they are tiny but there's a sugar beet field there. Unfortunately, I may have to drive on it a little bit. Just, I don't want to take those trees out. I like that drive through the, through the trees. Probably should have thought a little more carefully about the road. Doy. All right, let's get this done quickly.
Well, we got all but about 120 liters of it in the trailer, which I suppose is a good problem to have. I'm going to get this over to the mill and get that mill cranked up, start making flour. I did a little bit more landscaping over here. So it's a little nicer back here than it was when I initially installed this. My post is no longer up off the ground. I got that problem fixed because I knew that would just bug the crap out of me. So I fixed it. And now it all looks good. We're going to leave the, the tractor and the trailer right here for now. Because what we need to do next... Actually, no, we need to take this trailer and go get the last 125 liters of, of oats out of the, out of the combine. But we need to take the combine to the store so we can pick up our corn header. Because we're going to have to buy a corn hitter. Alright, so that's the last of it. Let's get this header back over to the barn. And then we're going to need to, need to go to the store and get a cord header. So uh, I'll bring you guys back when I get to the store. And here we are at the store. And I think for the first time ever, we don't necessarily have to buy the cheapest thing. But, but we are going to go ahead and look at the sale and see what's there. Uh, no, no, no. Well... Maybe. Okay, so that's 50 grand. It's normally 100 even. And I love the swather. That's such a great way to cut grass. I mean, you cut grass in a, in a big, wide swath. And you don't have to rake it. You don't have to windrow it. It's great if all you want is grass. Now, there is a, there is a header for it that will do hay as it cuts but it's it, i think it's only six meters wide so you're still you know you're still making lots of up downs on a field but if you're just wanting to cut hay and make silage a swather is the way to go there is a rostel mash version of this though that you know if if i took this plus the header the header is 25 so that would be 75 the rostel mash which does almost as good a job as this. Um, I believe total, I, I think it's only like 58. And then the header is 18. So it ends up being about the same as this would be. But this would be the better one at that price. So that's going to... Eh, we don't have a whole lot of grass to cut. And that's the only thing that gives me pause. But... You know, we have, if you look at our money, I think we ended the previous episode with either 267 or 287. I would have to go back and look, but we have made well over a hundred thousand dollars overnight. So I think the possibility of us buying more property in the near future is, is actually very good. So that would be a that would be an argument in favor of this. I don't know. I, I don't know. I'll have to think about it. We came here for a corn header, and that's what we need to get right now. So corn headers. Unfortunately, there is no corn header in the in the sale. So I think we still want to look at mods. That is tiny. 2.7 meters. 
Six meters, that's getting a little better. Nine meters is good. I like nine meters. And it's 47.5 for nine meters. Yeah, so, you know, I think that's what, 3.4 meters. That's six meters for 53. That's not a good deal. So it's going to be one of these two. How often are we going to do corn? I think we're going to be doing corn or sunflowers regularly. So I'm going to splurge here. I'm going to spend the extra money on the bigger header. And feel good about it. Uh, it's already in our color. <laughs> I think it's it. I think that's the case color. Or that just may be the... That's Capello red. Well, by all means, we want the Case International Harvester red. All right. And we bought it. So let's go harvest some corn. It's corn. I can tell you all about it. You know, I tried it with butter and everything changed. I really like that our uh, our uh, all of our productions are going to be right here next to town. That just makes good sense. All right, let's get started. That's very cool. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. That's what I meant to do. Alright, let's see if these trees are in the way. A little bit. But nothing we can't get around. Yeah, this field needs to be bigger. This is not going to be enough corn. More corn. I'm not sure which way to cut this field. Next time it'll be this direction for sure. And it might also be a good idea to lower the header. I probably just need to let a worker do this and be done with it.
Well, we put 22,500 liters in the silo to become seeds, and we're going to take this and we're going to turn it into flour. So, all in all, a very productive day. We've started on our donut journey. <laughs> And we're going to have enough seeds to last for quite some time. So, wow, a very busy morning we've had, and it's not even lunchtime yet. All right, well, I'll meet you back up at the yard and we'll talk about what's next. So I got all the straw picked up. I got two full wagons full. So that's a hundred and that's seventy-two thousand liters plus seventeen thousand uh four hundred and five. I'll let someone else do the math on that, but it's uh it's getting close to two hundred thousand liters, which is good. Uh, we're turning all that into silage. I had grass silage on too, and I had about 50,000 liters of grass left, so I went ahead and I switched that to hay. So we should start making some total mixed ration again, which is good, and also sending silage over to the BGA. I think there's going to be plenty there to share between the two. Make us money and make us cow food. I think the next thing I need to do today is to uh, grab the plow and make that field bigger. I don't want to put this off. I want to be able to plant these two fields as soon as possible. Um, there is no reason for us to waste time with a field being idle. If a field is not idle, it's not making us money. Uh oh. Oh, that hurt. Well, those are going to be a little duller for a while. I mean, I'll hit those with a file before we start. And I know I'm driving on this field a lot, but it's it's very, very young. It's not going to do those little plants any harm. All right, so we've got to be a little bit careful here because we don't want to get too far into our border. See where the meadow grass is as opposed to the uh, grass grass. We want to make sure that we don't get too far into the meadow grass. And we probably should just go ahead and plow the whole thing. And I probably will, but I want to make sure that I get the border of it done correctly first. And I have to have create fields on in order to do this part of the field. And I really don't want to have create fields on with a worker at the wheel. Because that's just asking for trouble. I love workers. We could not do this without them. I just need them to be a little more intelligent about the decisions they make sometimes. too far. I think it curves back. 
right about here. Alright, that's considerably bigger. That's good. Alright, I want to get the rest of this plowed up real quick. And then we can turn a worker loose on the rest of it. Well, I think we have pretty much doubled the size of this field, which is great. It's nice to have some larger fields, but that does present us with the problem of only having six meter wide equipment. So again, we're at that point where is the field going to going to be too large for us to work with the equipment that we have and I think probably the answer is yes so I'm going to start keeping my eye out for some nine meter stuff this is the last field we are going to need to create for a while we may need to to plow something if we're going to um if we're going to plant a field with our current cedar, because our cedar, well, number one, it's only six meters, and number two, it's not a direct drill. So, you know, at some at some point, that may need, need to be replaced as well. And I think the farther we get into, into this adventure, uh the less I will feel obligated to not use modified equipment. I really wanted to, to make sure that that we built the farm with standard equipment. Things that didn't do things that were too far out of the ordinary. But I think once we get to a point where we have the money to buy whatever we need to buy, for instance, if I could buy both a nine meter cedar and a nine meter planter then in my mind there is no difference in buying a nine meter cedar that will also plant crops uh, normally planted by a planter a multi-fruit cedar if that makes 
any sense. Uh, I hope it does. So I'm going to finish plowing this and uh, then we'll talk about what's next. Alright, well I finished up the plowing and I got um, some more landscaping done so that our borders are are nice and I made the road a little prettier so I just did a little work while the worker was uh, plowing it just makes everything look a little nicer a little more finished and now I'm gonna I'm gonna take some time before the next episode and we're gonna decide what we're gonna do about our mowing situation and our planting slash seeding situation I, you know I, I think we may spend some money and make both of those things a little better I think we could probably spend about 200 grand and we would end up with a cedar slash planter that is nine meters wide and do everything we need it to do and a mower that will mow and swath at about 15 meters wide and that just that just makes life sweet easy to deal with so I think the last thing we're gonna do today while I give that some serious consideration is we're gonna get some seeds and some fertilizer into our uh, distributor I'm pretty sure our open gardens still have enough there but I'd like to go ahead and get the the distributor a little closer to full and um, oh, I'm going at this the wrong way just so we don't have to think about it if we keep that full then we never have to worry about our our seeds running out or our fertilizer running out so let's take a look in the time that it took us to plow this turned all of our oats into seeds so that's that's pretty impressive we're going to go ahead and grab 10,000 of these and um, put that in our distributor. So I got to watch it pretty close. Okay, 10,400, that's pretty close. All right, so let's get about the same amount of solid fertilizer. I don't know how much we have in here. We've been making it from digestate for a couple of months now, so I, I have no idea how fast this makes fertilizer. So we have 20,000 liters of solid fertilizer, so we're going to go ahead and take 10,000 liters of that. I think I decided on solid fertilizer. Let me look real quick. <laughs> Yes, yes, I did. So we are distributing solid fertilizer. And now we have a, a good a good uh, store of both. I think probably at this point we should put some more water in here. You know what? I think we have reached the point in our in our journey that we can go ahead and put in some water distribution. Because I'm just, I don't want to have to deal with water anymore. And we have enough money to cover that, so we're going to go ahead and do it. Um, let's look here. Construction. I don't know whether to put it here or whether to put it, I think I'm going to put it right here next to the, I think I'm going to put it right here next to the trailer. Because that, well, no, because I'm thinking about getting rid of that trailer at some point. Let's put it over here, out of the way behind the BGA where we don't even have to think about it and it's going to be down here towards the end there it is and this will fill up well this will fill up using a public water source so we will get charged some for water but then it will distribute water uh, to all of our production so we never have to worry about filling it up and it just fills up all of our productions so there let's go into get out of that go into here 
and it's always going to be the last one down on the end. There it is, water. We're going to turn that on. We're going to tell it to distribute. And now whenever we need water at any production that we own, it will get its water from this. Talk about the ultimate time saver. That's it. And speaking of time, I think that will end our time for today. We've gotten a lot done and we've spent most of the day doing it. If you like this episode, I sure would appreciate a thumbs up or a subscription. If you didn't like this episode, I would love for you to post a comment and tell me why. Either way, thanks for being here. I'll see you next time.